What's up guys? Thanks for joining us here tonight. We have a very serious topic that we want to talk about. We need to get something off of our chests. Um, we are going to be suing Warner Brothers and New Line Cinema for ripping off our movie idea with 8-Bit Christmas. It has been, a, I guess, a point of contention around here. We didn't exactly want to have to do that uh, uh getting a lawyer is pretty expensive um yeah but they've assured us that that the monetary gain we could get off of this and that's how we're going to pay the lawyers is you know we got a team hopefully they're better than their lawyer i'm just messing around look wait we're not no we're not here's the thing let's well, we could have used that money to make another movie <laughs> you're not wrong damn about that. uh i do uh, we we want to talk about this movie though because we are getting a lot of messages. Um, oh, did you see this? Oh, it's just like y'all's movie. The movie's not the same at all. And we'll expand on this a little bit in a little bit. And if you want to jump in at any time, cut me off because I know I can be a pretty, pretty talky guy. It's an NES and that's where the difference basically ends. It, it's an NES. Well, there's a, there's a, there's a similar shot in the, in the, in, the, in, the, in their movie. Uh, with with definitely a higher budget, you can kind of. I, I'm looking honestly. I'm I'm kind of looking at it like, damn, that's what our shot shot could have looked like if we had, uh, you know, a hundred thousand dollars worth of worth more of lenses and and uh, uh, you know, sure. a steady cam and all this other stuff. So that, that's the only thing that I'm, from my perspective, I'm looking at. I'm just looking at from a, all technical stuff, not even essentially the story, because the story is nothing. The story's nothing alike. Is nothing and that's like what um, I want to touch on actually and is the story. It's this is from what it, I mean. I guess we don't know until we watch it, but just from the trailer, it looks like it's uh, a Christmas story and uh, Jingle All the Way meshed into a. a I can a, see that like a. a the story about trying to get the NES. So, uh, and that's exactly what it is. It's a story about a group of kids who are trying to get a Nintendo in a time when it would have been hard to find a Nintendo. Now, first of all, I want to say that that's false because in the late eighties, it would have been pretty easy to get a NES. But whatever, you know, if you if you I mean, you gotta you gotta movie it up or there's no movie, right? Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> where ours is. <laughs> couple of adults going on a road trip to find their childhood NES. I think where the comparisons are coming from and I've gotten because we have flashback messages. scenes. We've gotten yes. yeah, I've gotten messages from everywhere from <laughs> Facebook to Twitter to text messages. Yep, same. It's it I figured do we, we do a video, we'll uh, can I answer it all and it just it makes more sense to do it this way. Um Yes, uh, the flashback scenes. Uh, there's a kid opening an NES. It's been in the trailer of ours. It's been in their trailer, uh, and that's more really. That's the only comparison. It's... I gotta be honest. If you're gonna make a movie going after any old console at at this point, you know, in 2020, 2020 of shit is 2021. If you're gonna make a movie like that, talking about the past. You're going to have a Christmas scene. It could have been a Genesis. Guess what? Christmas scene. Because I know in my household, when we were younger, we got a bunch of small stuff for Christmas and it would have been one big gift. This is for everyone because it's so expensive. And that usually would have been a console three years, four years after it came out because it was discounted and cheaper. Mm -hmm. But that's what it would have been for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that's where I either... Yeah, see, not, not a birthday... You're not, she, you want a Nintendo for your birthday? F you. Nope. No, I mean, it was the same here. We, my grandfather got us our NES, but it was, you know, it was, it was mine. It was Chris's. Well, I mean, he was only like three years old and like you do the control trick on him. It was, it was no big deal, but, <laughs> um, great. my sister, you know, she liked games too back then. Uh, so it was, it was, it, and, and so it was really, it was everyone's and it had to stay, it had to stay at my grandfather's house. I couldn't take right. it home. Yeah, you know, my NES growing up was literally at my grandfather's house. I have to ride my bike there and go play it. You know, you got to movie some things up because, you know, these kids are going after this NES. If in in late 80s is when the movie is set and they even make a joke. It was 1987. He goes, or was it 88? He goes, the Super Bowl was in 86. And, and the daughter cuts him off and he says, he goes, it was the late 80s. The year was the late 80s. Well, there was no shortage, but you got to create a shortage. Otherwise, there's no movie. Just like... We go on this road trip to find an NES. Why couldn't we have gone down to a local used store and just bought one? Because then there's no movie, right? 
it's not the same. I first saw the trailer. I like Neil Patrick Harris. I, I love Neil Patrick Harris. Automatically, I was like, well, if he's in it, I'm watching it. I don't really care what it is. And then I saw the trailer and I'm like, yeah, no, that looks like it's going to be a fun movie. I want to go watch this movie. No, I mean, I honestly, like... It looks it looks good. Yeah, like it's it does. it's it does it like I I watched it and it's it's like wow, okay. I mean it yeah, I mean it's it's something I would watch. Like for sure. It's definitely something I'd watch. Uh so yeah, I mean don't but don't like if anybody's out there actually legitimately pissed off, I mean I mean don't be. It's they didn't well, they look look, nobody from Warners was watching Game Chasers and was like, oh well, well, you know, well we could do a, a movie about the <sighs> NES too. I'm just glad that this didn't come out, you know, before we shot. Uh, because right, because then people people would have said, would say, we were we ripping, ripping off. off them, and um, and that was out, honestly a level of stress for me after a while because you know with the pre production you know the writing the writing of the script, um, you know getting everything situated, uh, man that was like a about a year and a half maybe even two year mm -hmm, process. Mm -hmm. uh, in that time anything can happen. If somebody was if they was to come out with this back then, you, do you know that 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 would have been like oh my god what do we do now. Because well, even, I mean, we still would still still do the movie, but it's just like it's even just, though they were different movies, people still would have said because people done the comparison. like people people like people love drama? saying <laughs> I mean, they love drama. They love saying and not saying any of you guys are doing that, but people do love that where they're like, oh, these people ripped off somebody else. Now I'm going to go cause a stir because I I I want to just cause drama. Yeah, not saying anybody here is doing that, but uh, that is a, a common thing I see a lot. Even uh, even if the movies were so much alike, do you now do you know how well, common it is for like movies to come out in the same era, the same time period? Armageddon, Deep Impact, you yeah. know, uh, Volcano and and uh, Dante's Peak. Now, if they really did rip us off, then yes, go 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 for blood. That's different, like, but, yeah, but but they did, but they, they, but they did. did. Nobody nobody ripped us off. And actually, this is coming from somebody who's had something legitimately ripped off. Uh, this is before the channel and, and stuff. I was I, you know I worked in a I was working for some people on a, on a production and uh, they were like, hey, come up with the logo. So I come up with the logo of the show idea that they had. And this guy was, you no, know, this guy was legitimate. He, he, he works with Oprah and all this other stuff. But, you know, we were, we were going to pitch this show idea and uh, he took it to uh, an executive at, I believe, I believe it was ABC. The dude was like, no, no, we don't want it. That's a crazy idea. That's a crazy <laughs> idea. That's the worst idea I've ever seen in my life. Get out. Get out now. And then uh, about a, about six months later, we the the show's on, and 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 Ben, the guy that I was talking, about, he's like, "It's our show." <laughs> and we looked at the logo, and the logo comes up, and I'm like, "That's my logo." <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. But wow. You know, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. What might people go? Oh, that's the same thing. Okay, kid opening present, Christmas time. All right. To me, that makes sense. Um, the set. Well, it's the '80s. That makes sense. Um. Outside of that, it's not the same at all. Yeah. No, you know? I, mean, I mean, I guess not, it's the it's same not. as you got a group of people going after a Nintendo to one degree, and over here you got a group of people going after a Nintendo to a different degree. So I guess the common denominator <laughs> is you got a group of people going after a Nintendo. Yeah. The difference is the stories are 30 years apart. That's you, the difference. You, you know what's really not the same? The budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we don't probably, have probably Patrick Probably, Harris. probably 10... 10 to 15 million, I'm guessing. That's just the blind guess. I have no idea. So I'm I'm looking at the thing and I'm just like, you know, but I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking from a standpoint of like, oh my god, I wish we would have had that piece of equipment or <laughs> that lens or that actor. Or hey, they licensed that song. That, that would have been nice. Yeah, actually um, you were just saying, is that a cover? Uh Final Countdown by Europe. And yeah, I even 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 covers, even uh, licensing covers is thousands of dollars oh, cheaper. Yeah. But it's still expensive. It's still very expensive. <laughs> yeah, unless unless you're friends with the band. Yeah. And they're and they're and they're, and they're band, literally band. like, I don't care, just do whatever. But um So I don't even I gotta be honest, like I don't even know what else to say except that it's just not the same movie. Uh it's just I just it's just not. It's just not the same thing. Hey, you know what? I hope people watch that, see that, find ours and go, hmm, let's see what this is about. Or hey, these guys copied Neil Patrick Harris's movie and watch it anyway. So it's 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 going to it's going to be the uh, like like the the what was it like the shark? Oh, Jaws just came out and then and then like you have like oh, oh Midwest Shark Attack or something <laughs> Midwest like, shark or some attack. asylum some asylum movie like Sharknado <laughs> trying to capitalize on you know yeah. those those those, yeah. those those uh 
those companies would do that all the time. All the time. All the time. Because the, you, you hear that these big budget giant movies are going to be coming out. I like War of the Worlds. Oh, it happened a lot with World of the Worlds. So the latest Steven Spielberg movie, World of the Worlds, mm -hmm. came out. And it's going to take, you know, it, that stuff gets announced, but it takes like years to, to actually finally get it done. But if you're Asylum or some low budget, small budget company, you, know, you know what? Uh, we can do it in like a third of the time on like ten thousand dollars right. ten dollars <laughs> put it out distribute it and trick people into thinking this yeah, is the new world of the world pretty much F it just retitle it 8-bit christmas or, <laughs> i don't know um, eight, 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 eight bit road trip eight bit road trip <laughs> let's stay like this for just a second because this is where i'm gonna put the end screen it's gonna be like the part right here where you can like watch another video and then maybe subscribe like right here we gotta sit like this for like 20 seconds though Eight bit Christmas. Chaw. Sure.